Holy smokes, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So first, we're going to start off with reading this. Was FTX being used to manipulate the price of AMC stock? This is going to bring us into the next thing, and that is a brand new website reporting a tokenized stock on AMC. We talked about this being used to suppress the price of AMC. This records a $923 billion market cap for AMC, which would mean, right, just if you were to take it as all of these stocks are synthetic shares this would mean amc's price is currently trading at 1764 dollars what is going on guys lottery stocks here welcome back to the channel welcome to the channel if you're new all i ask in return for this video is for you to hit the subscribe button it is free and we have to touch on phase six banks amc's chart or text numbers and a little bit of extra dd that we have lying around so without further ado consider hitting that like button and dropping a comment down below let's get into it Now this is exactly what everybody is talking about and it's BIS warns of 80 trillion of hidden debt in FX swaps. The Bank for International Settlements, BIS, has warned that pension funds and other non-bank financial firms now have more than 80 trillion of hidden off-balance sheet dollar debt in the form of foreign exchange swaps. They saw funding squeezes during both the global financial crisis and again in March 2020 when the COVID-2019 pandemic wrought havoc that required top central banks like the US Federal Reserve to intervene with dollar swap lines. The 80 trillion plus hidden debt estimate exceeds the stocks of U.S. Treasury bills, repo, and commercial paper combined. The BIS said while the churn of deals was almost $5 trillion per day in April, two-thirds of daily global FX turnover. For both non-U.S. banks and non-U.S. non-banks such as pension funds, dollar obligations from FX swaps are now double on their balance sheet dollar debt, it estimated. The missing dollar debt from FX swaps slash forwards and currency swaps is huge, the Switzerland-based institution said, describing the lack of direct information about the scale and location of problems as the key issue. Now this is interesting as well. It is estimated that 2.2 trillion worth of currency trades are at risk of failing to settle on any given day due to issues between counterparties potentially undermining financial stability. The amount at risk represents about one third of total deliverable FX turnover and is up from 1.9 trillion from three years earlier when the last FTX survey was carried out. FX trading volume also continues to shift away from multilateral trading platforms towards less visible venues, hindering policymakers from appropriately monitoring FX markets. So foreign exchange trading is shifting away to platforms that are more hidden from being monitored and regulated. Sounds fishy, right? The bank's head of research and economic advisor described the recent crypto market problems such as the collapse of the FTX exchange and stablecoins Terra, USD, and Luna as having similar characteristics to most banking crash. Now, I read through this article about counterfeiting stock and everything you have to know about short attacks, and this is exactly what's happening with AMC's price. You have true supply, true supply plus disclose shorts and true supply plus all short shares and this is essentially what it does to the demand curve and the demand curve is infinitely elastic and it constantly moves i'm going to leave this article link down below in case you guys do want to take a look into it but we are talking about the phase six initial margin requirements which essentially kicked in september 1st but again these swaps these agreements have expiration dates they can be three six nine twelve months before they actually kick in but take a look at this in september we saw phase six come into effect on derivative trading but that's smaller potatoes now we're moving towards the head honcho final boss of leverage and capital requirements on global systematically important banks take a look at this right here 2023 revised exposure definition gs IB buffer. And he says, if you don't believe me in its impact, just take a look at the implementation that started beginning of 2022. And then look what happened to the markets. Day one of 2022, the B market began tanking. 2017 reforms implementation date, January 1st, 2022. All of these kicked in. And since January 1st of 2022, the S&P 500 has collapsed dramatically. So something to definitely pay attention to, to say the least. Now let's move on to a little bit of Ortex numbers. So AMC estimated short interest is 20.6 two percent cost to borrow fee 36 percent utilization still maxed out average cost to borrow 23 percent and the max is 58 ape 9.95 percent shorted eight percent cost to borrow 89 percent utilization they have 
found a way to somehow drop the utilization on Ape. Us bar average 8.93 and max 8.93. Now a little bit to touch on crypto before we get into the AMC charts. Three Arrows Capital, the defunct crypto hedge fund, has said that its founders still not cooperating with asset recovery. Crypto lender Nexo reportedly to quit US operations after clashes with regulators. And finally, central bank digital currencies are coming and now they are talking about rolling them out in the metaverse. Guys, be smart and protect yourself. A little touch on some AMC numbers before we get into the charts. Stonko Tracker is reporting 500,000 shares available to borrow with a 30% fee. The cost to borrow fee has dropped by 10%. Uh, utilization is dropping on APE. And essentially the short interest dropped a little bit or could have been just adjusted by Ortex. But ultimately this scares me. I don't, I didn't want the fee to drop at all. I wanted it to stay at least around 40%. Now it dropped it down to 30%. Guys, this is something scary and we really have to pay attention to the cost to borrow fee because it's sites like these that are stuffing tokenized stock away and dropping the cost to borrow. So we have to keep an eye out and keep exposing these websites. Now guys, real quick before we get into the chart, we have a new sponsorship from Moomoo. The link is gonna be pinned in the top comments and linked in the description. But once you sign up and open an account, you can get up to 20 free stocks and a chance to win $60,000. But you do have to deposit at least a dollar in that account. This is a huge promotion and it's gonna end very, very soon. I'll leave that link down below. Right, guys, so we did see a little bit of a healthy retracement in my opinion, but the volume is still a bit low. Hopefully we get volume to kick in tomorrow, but taking a look at the one hour time frame, AMC does look like it has a decent setup. You saw a rip, a flag, a rip, and potentially you could see that flag again before another rip and essentially just a stair stepping to the upside. We do have to get a real test at some point on this overall trend line to see if we get a break over and that will be the moment of truth. Uh, but right now you could see a retracement all the way down to 725. I don't think you'll see it go down that far. I think, uh, it, you know, it, it's max out to where it should retrace down to before getting a rip wherever this finds a bottom we do need to see volume kick in to break over eight dollars and ninety cents a clean break over bring us up to that trend line level at around ten dollars and fifty cents but ultimately guys that is what i'm expecting on amc touching on the spy real quick before we close out the video we got rejected on this trend line one two three four four, five, maybe arguably five or six times. And we got rejected again. The SPY is kind of just hanging out in the middle of this zone. Essentially, everybody is just waiting for December 13th and 14th for CPI and then interest rate increases to come out to see the overall reaction with the S&P 500 and the market as a whole. But guys, I think this is the biggest news to pay attention to as they are fucked. And retail's money has not been moving around like they wanted to nobody has sold any type of stocks like amc and gamestop and other meme stocks as well we completely shifted the market and the way things have to be run and now shit has to be hidden behind the scenes more than ever and it's just becoming more and more risky for these counterparties to not default on different swaps especially when these requirements kick in it is going to really hurt i think banks have dug themselves a really big hole prime brokers, mark makers, everybody is in a really big pit. And until retail sells, that pit is going to get deeper and deeper. But ultimately, guys, this is what I got for you guys for today. I am still bullish on AMC going forward. I may or may not drop another video tonight, whether it's on COSM, Mullen, SNDL, or any one of these stocks that I am paying attention to. If you guys want to request a video, just drop it in the comments down below. But make sure you're subscribed or I will not be making that video for you. That is it, guys. Get your free stocks and a chance to win $60,000 down below before Christmas time. I love you all. Lottery socks out.